Your enemies have been set up. Do you realize the full magnitude of what's unfolding before you? Can you feel the shift as those who plotted against you are now ensnared in their own traps? God has watched every trial, every insult, and every attack you've faced. Now something extraordinary is happening. Those who sought to bring you down are reaping what they've sown. God's eyes have never left you. Every insult, every attack, and every attempt to undermine your purpose has been laid bare before him. Those who stood against you thought they could dismantle what God had ordained, but their plans were doomed from the start. What they failed to realize is that you are chosen, set apart by a force far greater than their schemes. They thought they were pulling you into a pit, but in truth, they dug their own graves. Their arrogance led them to believe they could control your fate, manipulate your circumstances, or strip you of your power. But God has been quietly allowing their actions to ripen, waiting for the perfect moment to unleash his justice. And that moment has come. You may not see the turmoil in their hearts, but rest assured, it is there. Their confidence is crumbling like sandcastles before a tidal wave. Every move they made to undermine you is now turning back on them with ferocity they never anticipated. God's judgment is relentless, and they stand defenseless against it. You might envision your enemies wandering, lost in a spiritual wasteland where every step forward feels like sinking deeper into quicksand. They are confused, disoriented, their once sharp tongues silenced by the weight of their own deception. What they used against you now binds them like chains, pulling them down into the consequences they created for themselves. The darkness they tried to throw you into has become their own reality, a void they can neither escape nor comprehend. Their power is draining, slipping from their grasp like water through their fingers. Their plans, once so meticulously crafted, are unraveling in ways they cannot control. The harder they try to regain their footing, the deeper they fall into the trap they set for you. God's hand is moving swiftly now, turning the tables with a force that leaves no room for escape. What they intended for harm is the very catalyst that's leading to their destruction. As a chosen one, you were never meant to fall. You are shielded by divine favor, protected by the justice of a God who does not forget. What you are witnessing is not just their failure, but the undeniable evidence of your calling. You have faced suffering that cuts deep. Your enemies have taken from you homes, finances, relationships, leaving you in what they believed was ruin. They paraded their victories over you, laughing at your misfortune, convinced they had won. But their arrogance has been their undoing. What they took from you was never theirs to claim, and now their so-called triumphs are collapsing under the weight of divine justice. Their mockery, once loud and triumphant, has turned into a slow unraveling of everything they thought they had built. You are no ordinary person. As one of the chosen, you've been targeted because your presence alone threatens the comfort of those who wish to see you fall. Your light unsettles them. Your resilience enrages them. But what they don't realize is that the more they try to strip you of your possessions, your peace and your dignity, the more they have sealed their own fate. Every loss you endured was seen by God. The suffering you experienced was not unnoticed. They may have thought they were succeeding in breaking you, but each step they took against you was a step toward their own downfall. This pain did not begin in recent years. Some of the wounds you carry trace back to childhood, to moments when you were wronged, abandoned or betrayed by those who should have protected you. They sowed seeds of cruelty and malice, and for years those seeds lay dormant. Now, after so long, the harvest of their actions has come. Their cruelty has caught up to them, and it is relentless. Where they once stood tall, now they find themselves standing on crumbling ground. They mocked your struggles, but now they are trapped in their own. The wealth they flaunted, the power they boasted about, the joy they found in your pain, none of it can save them now. Their actions have circled back to them like a storm they can no longer outrun. What was once their shield has become their prison. You stand unshaken. God's hand is upon you, and while your enemies writhe in the consequences of their deeds, you are rising. What they took from you will be restored in ways they cannot fathom, because you were always destined to prevail. Your enemies, those who thought they could harm you without consequence, are now being struck down by a force far greater than they ever anticipated. 
Sickness clings to them like a relentless shadow, diseases ravaging their bodies with no mercy. Their minds, once sharp with the intent to destroy you, are now clouded with confusion and torment. They stumble through their days, haunted by the consequences of their actions, knowing deep down that what they are facing is the inevitable result of the harm they inflicted upon you. You are the reason they tremble. They mocked you, dismissed you, thinking they could manipulate your fate, but their reckoning is here, and it is brutal. The sickness they suffer is not just physical. It runs through their very souls, a gnawing realization that their downfall is tied directly to their cruelty toward you. They're beginning to see the cracks forming in their lives, and those cracks are growing wider with each passing day. Their strength is waning, and no matter what they do, they cannot escape the judgment that has been set in motion. Even those who stood on the sidelines, your family members, acquaintances, and old so-called friends who aligned with your enemies, are now being swept up in this wave of divine retribution. Their silent complicity is no longer hidden. Their actions, no matter how small or passive, have not gone unnoticed. They thought they could avoid accountability by standing in the shadows, but now they too face the same judgment. Their lives, once untouched by the chaos they helped to sow, are being overturned. They are watching as the walls of their lives close in on them, and their cries for mercy are met with silence. Your enemies may have thought they were untouchable, that their deeds would fade into the past without consequence. But now, their suffering is unfolding before them clear as day. Their bodies are breaking down, their minds are in turmoil, and they are forced to confront the fact that their pain is a direct result of how they treated you. You are protected by a force they cannot comprehend, and while they writhe in the consequences of their own actions, you stand untouched, shielded by divine justice. Their suffering has only begun, and it is tied to the harm they wished upon you. God's protection over you has been absolute, unwavering, and undeniable. When your enemies set their plans in motion, scheming to pull you down, God moved you swiftly out of harm's way. They believed they had you within reach, poised to strike and revel in your downfall, but their victory was never destined to be. You were never meant to be ensnared by their plots. God's hand lifted you from the battlefield, placing you in a position where their attacks could no longer touch you. While they sharpened their weapons of deceit and malice, he shielded you completely, turning their weapons into nothing but dust in the wind. What they failed to understand is that the trials they threw your way were not your undoing, but rather the fire that refined you. Every insult, every attempt to humiliate you served only to elevate you spiritually. You were being tested, but instead of falling, you were promoted. Spiritually, you have been lifted to a level they cannot even comprehend. Meanwhile, your enemies are in free fall, spiritually and mentally demoted, their power stripped away, their clarity gone. They are like soldiers who lost their way, groping in the dark for a battle they've already lost. Now they search for you, their pride telling them you must still be within their grasp. But God has hidden you in plain sight. They cannot find you because you are no longer accessible to them. Confusion clouds their vision. They stumble, not understanding why their plans have failed so miserably. It is as if they are chasing shadows, desperately seeking something they will never possess. You have been removed from their reach, and their frustration only grows as they realize their power has been drained. As the Chosen One, you are not only protected but exalted. What they once held over you is now irrelevant, their control shattered. Their confusion is a testament to their downfall, while you, unseen and untouched, move forward under God's watchful eyes. Their defeat is inevitable, and their attempts to harm you have only led to their own destruction. You have been placed beyond their grasp, shielded by the divine force that has always known your worth. Their confusion will persist, but for you, peace and victory reign. Your enemies are trapped, their minds twisted and tangled in a web of their own making. They roam aimlessly, searching for you in places you abandoned long ago. Their eyes are fixated on the past, desperately trying to find you in spaces where you no longer exist, unaware that you have ascended to heights beyond their reach. God has removed you from their path, and yet they continue their fruitless search, driven by confusion, 
unaware that their pursuit is nothing but a shadow of their former power. They can no longer see you because God has hidden you, veiling your presence from those who sought to harm you. Their confusion is not accidental. It is the direct result of the judgment God has placed upon them. Their minds, once sharp with malice and plotting, have dulled under the weight of divine justice. The clarity they once wielded to try to destroy you has been stripped away, leaving them fumbling through the darkness of their own misdeeds. They cannot comprehend how they went from being the aggressors to the defeated. Every step they take is one of disorientation, as if they are walking through a thick fog, unsure of where they are headed or why they are even moving. You are no longer bound by the limitations they tried to impose on you. God has lifted you, and their power over you has been shattered. They are spiritually lost, wandering through a desert of their own creation, where every move only leads them deeper into the pit. They stand on the battlefield they once prepared for you, but now they are the ones being consumed by their own weapons. God's judgment is upon them, heavy and inescapable, and it has stripped them of the ability to understand how their own actions have brought about their downfall. While they continue in their confusion, you rise above it all, unreachable and untouchable. Their search for you, driven by pride and vengeance, has led them nowhere. They are mentally trapped in a loop of their own mistakes, and the more they try to escape, the tighter the trap becomes. You are not lost, but they are. God's protection has placed you far beyond their grasp, while their own spiritual blindness leads them in endless circles of failure. You may find yourself receiving visions, glimpses into the lives of those who once stood against you. Your enemies are trapped, wandering through the ruins of the past, searching for you in places you left long ago. Their minds, fixated on old locations and forgotten moments, are unable to grasp that you've moved far beyond their reach. They stand in the wreckage of what they once thought was their victory over you, unaware that you now walk on ground they will never tread. They search and they stumble, driven by a torment they cannot escape, while you, chosen by God, have been elevated beyond their grasp. Some of these enemies are not distant strangers. They are familiar faces, classmates, former friends, and even family members who turned against you, who ridiculed and harmed you when they thought they held power. Now, these prominent figures from your past are facing extreme mental torment, their thoughts spiraling in confusion, haunted by the way they treated you. What they once did in arrogance has come back to them as judgment, a heavy and unrelenting force that clouds their minds and leaves them in despair. They suffer not only because of their actions, but because they cannot understand why their lives are unraveling. They believed they were untouchable, but God's hand has brought them low. God is using their torment as part of a divine reckoning. The confusion that consumes them is no accident. It is the manifestation of the judgment they sowed when they sought to bring you down. Their minds are now prisons, and each attempt to escape only pulls them deeper into their suffering. They are trapped in the very pits they dug for you, and their confusion is not merely a mental state, it is their punishment. What they thought they could escape through power, manipulation, or pride has now become their undoing. Every day is another layer of divine judgment upon them, another step deeper into the chaos they created. You, as the Chosen One, have risen far beyond their influence. While they writhe in mental torment, you are free. God has placed you out of their reach, untouchable, while their own actions serve as the chains that bind them. They search for you. They long to understand why their lives have turned to ash. But God's judgment ensures they will never find the peace they once believed was theirs. God calls you to a higher purpose, even as your enemies suffer under the weight of their own actions. Despite the torment they inflicted on you, you are not like them. You are chosen, set apart, and because of that, you are called to respond differently. God asks you to pray for those who sought to destroy you, not because they deserve it, but because he is working through you. Your enemies, now drowning in confusion, sickness, and spiritual decay, are on the brink of severe consequences. Some are staring down death itself, their lives unraveling before their eyes, and yet God asks for mercy through your prayers. Your enemies are spiritually disconnected, wandering in a vast wilderness with no guide, no light to show them the way. 
They are lost, grasping at remnants of the control they once held over you, unaware that their fate is closing in. The judgment that has been laid upon them is not without reason. It is the harvest of the seeds they planted in their own hearts. But God's mercy can still reach them, and your prayers are a key to unlocking that mercy. Your prayers can be a beacon of clarity in the midst of their confusion, a final thread of grace that could lead them to repentance before it's too late. God is using their suffering as part of a divine reckoning, but he also offers them a lifeline through you. Their torment, while deserved, is not without the potential for redemption. Many of them are blind to the severity of the consequences they now face, teetering on the edge of ruin. Your prayers are not a pardon for their actions, but a call for them to see the truth before they are consumed entirely. Without repentance, some of them will face consequences so severe that there will be no turning back. You hold a unique power in this moment. God has entrusted you with the ability to intercede, not because you owe them anything, but because your prayers can bring them to a moment of clarity. Even as judgment unfolds, your prayers can shift their hearts. Some may still fall, but for others, your prayers could be the difference between eternal loss and the chance to find their way back to God. God has not overlooked a single action of your enemies. Every scheme, every betrayal, every word spoken in malice has been recorded, and nothing has slipped through his divine hands. His judgment is now unfolding in ways they could never have anticipated. They may have believed that time absolved them, that their transgressions would fade, but God's memory is as eternal as his justice. The reckoning they thought they had escaped is now upon them, and it is unrelenting. What they sowed in the shadows has grown into a harvest of suffering that they cannot evade. God's timing is flawless. His justice is precise. He may allow time to pass, giving space for repentance, but when it becomes clear that their hearts are hardened, his judgment strikes with a force that no human power can withstand. The years they thought they spent in safety have only been a delay in their downfall. With each passing day they refused to turn from their wickedness. The weight of their judgment grew heavier. Now that weight presses down upon them, crushing their defenses and tearing apart the illusions they once hid behind. There is no escape, no refuge from what is now unfolding. For those enemies who remain unrepentant, their suffering will only intensify. Their refusal to humble themselves before God's mercy has sealed their fate. Their hearts, cold and unyielding, have locked them into a path of prolonged torment. They will walk through a storm of consequences so severe that every step they take will be met with resistance. Their lives will become a series of trials and agonies, as the very foundation they once stood upon crumbles beneath them. The longer they resist, the deeper they fall into the abyss of God's judgment. You are a witness to this unraveling. God's protection has lifted you far above the chaos they now face, and from your vantage point, you see the truth of their downfall. While they are dragged deeper into their own destruction, you rise. Their unrepentant hearts are the chains that bind them to their suffering, and without a change their judgment will be swift, final and without mercy. God's justice is not to be mocked, and your enemies are learning this truth in ways they never imagined. You stand victorious, shielded by a divine force far greater than any opposition. The battle is already won. God's power has dismantled the schemes of your enemies, reducing their efforts to ashes. They are no match for the authority that surrounds you, no match for the purpose God has placed within you. While they are trapped in confusion, suffering the consequences of their actions, you remain hidden under God's unfailing protection. You are beyond their reach, untouched by their attempts to harm you. Move forward with confidence, knowing that God has already secured your victory. Every step you take is guided by His hand. Every obstacle is merely a moment for God to reveal His strength through you. Your enemies are being dealt with, their downfall assured, and you are called to rise above the noise, to walk in the fullness of your purpose. You are chosen, and nothing can alter the path God has set before you. Now is the time to share your story. Speak boldly about what you have endured and the victories you've claimed through God's intervention. Let your testimony be a beacon of hope for others.
showing them the power of divine justice and the protection that comes with being chosen. Your story is the evidence of God's triumph. Don't keep it silent.